So today I'm going to be following up from a video I made about a month ago where I did can you beat the Maxis super easter egg in two hours. Except this time we're going to be doing the Richtofen side of the easter eggs. Now I haven't done these easter eggs in about seven months since the can you beat every easter egg in 24 hours video. So it'll be interesting to see if I still remember the steps or not. But yeah without wasting any more time let's just jump right into the video. Hey boys so here we are we're on transit everyone's favorite map and we're going to be doing the Richtofen side of the easter eggs today. Now I'll be honest it has been a hot minute since I did the Richtofen side uh, for the transit easter egg. I think the last time I did it was actually back when we did the 24 hour easter egg video so it has been a minute bro but all right i'm gonna first try this all right i'm a little bad boy i'm trying to do it as fast as i can so let's just get our way out of here there we go now i'm pretty sure the first step we need to do is to turn on the power so i'm gonna go ahead and put that turbine down there get me a denizen on my head and we're gonna teleport hopefully all the way to the power station so here we go where are we gonna go boys we are at diner of course we are the one time i don't want to be at diner also i'll turn off the fog because bro, no one likes the fog okay i got a comment on my last video where someone was like oh the fog on transit isn't actually that bad but like bro we've got two different sets of eyes or something because to me the fog is like it's actually awful all right come on denizen all right let's uh let's get it this time there we go out of here and where are we okay we're near next one towing so i'm gonna make my way over there real quick because the first kind of main step is that we need to build the jet gun and there should be a part somewhere in nactor and towing so where is it ah oh, there it is so honestly we're like pretty close to the power station so i'm just gonna run to it no point like trying to risk another teleport but look at these look at these denizens bro there's two of them after me go back away shank them up all right use my brick nature this step is like pretty much the main reason to why i use the um maxis side in like all of my videos for this easter egg because the rick's open side just honestly sucks bro like i hate just having to run around the map and have to like build the jet gun like it's such a bad wonder weapon as well right either way i want to try and keep this part here for the jet gun so i'm gonna have to like part swap all of these parts so let's go ahead and add on our first part right here here's the hand right here so go ahead and add that on and i'm pretty sure i saw the last part just over there yeah there it is go ahead and pick that up as well and there we go boys so unlike the maxis side of this easter egg we actually have to leave the power on which is quite nice because it means that we can like teleport the map a lot easier because basically the whole reason we put down the turbines at the lampposts is because the lampposts need to be on right they need to have power but with power on all you need is denizen so it's like it makes it a lot easier so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna quickly make my way over to the town because what i can do is i can go ahead and pull out like a load of points if i've got some in there actually i'm not too sure i might not have any points in there okay, so we need to make our way in there so i'm just gonna toss a grenade open up that little door there and i need like 80 more points so there we go and do I have points in the bank? Hopefully I do. Yeah, I do. Oh my god, thank god. Pull out like 40k points. Oh, that'll do. So what I'm also going to do is open up here, buy myself stamina up, help us, you know, just run around the map easier, and put on our first part of the jet gun. So there's that one. I might as well also buy myself jug because it is a step where we like have to kill a bunch of zombies. So next place I'm aiming to go, I mean, it wasn't here, but I'll take it because what I can do is I'm going to buy myself quick revive. Because I'm hoping to make my way to the diner so I can start hitting the box because something we do need is we need EMPs as well. So if we can get those quite early, uh, that would be quite nice. So where are we? We're back here. Not quite where I want to be, to be honest. Let's get out of here. And we're back at Bus Depot. Oh, okay. This is the one thing I hate about, like, doing the teleport trick. It's because you'll literally go to the same location, like, four times. Before you get to the one place you want to be. Okay, game. To be honest, I really don't want to be at the town. So, where are we at? We are pretty much near town. So, I'll just make the run over there. Especially with Jug. I shouldn't die to this jump. And stamina up as well. Like, yeah, we're golden, boys. All right. So, here we are. We've made it. And we've got this, um, better, like, mystery box look perma perk. So, hopefully, we'll get EMPs relatively quick. Okay. But this signal is actually not that bad to, like for taking out the denizens. Well, I ideally what I need is I want the ray gun because we do need to get explosive kills. But that's like the two main things I'm really aiming for here. Uh, okay, better mystery box look by the way. All right, let's uh, teleport out of here. And where are we? Not anywhere useful. Okay, we're at town again. Not really useful. Oh, okay, we got to the cabin. I guess it's not too bad because I can go ahead and pick up this part here, which is used for the jet gun. So in a way, it, it kind of works. So let's go ahead and add that part on there. And I guess while I'm here, like in this general area, I might as well head down to the power station and go get the jet gun part that's there because i think after that the last part is in that tunnel area between bus depot and diner so okay we're at the power station just need to come on down through here and the part should be somewhere around here i, I think it's there so there we go and see this whole like jump actually like scares me bro especially when i was like younger th there was nothing right that induced more fear and my friend standing on the other side of that jump with a menacing look okay because i knew that he was gonna try and block me and that and that scared me boys all right i had nightmares about that if you've never had that fear, then, you know, you had an easy life. But us hard scallions that had to, you know, face that fear on a daily basis, you'll never know. You'll, you guys will never know. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this part onto the jet gun here. So there we go. And as I said, I think the last part is in the tunnel. So the only, like, really bad part about that, like, part location is that there's no teleporter nearby. So we're actually going to have to run over there and grab it. Which, you know, it's a little bit unfortunate, but it's fine. Because we do get teleported to, like, Bus Depot or Diner. We can just quickly run back and grab it. Okay, well, here we are. Speaking of the devil, we might as well just go grab it now. You know what? The tunnel was actually closer than I 
I thought it was. I think it's Bus Depot to the tunnel, which is like the longer part, but bro, this tunnel is bringing back some nostalgia. I don't know why. Something about it is just making me like have a smile on my face. Okay, well, here we are. We've got the last part. Rick Toffin just said so. I know like there's a mod that turns this whole area into like a survival map. I might have to play that at some point. I remember all the theories saying that was Bus Route B, bro. Like as bad as this map is, it just brings back some hard nostalgia for me because I like properly got into zombies around BO2. I like dabbled with it in BO1, but I was never like super into it. I do remember this one time, okay? I swear to God this happened, right? I'm not making it up. I had a dream about Area 51 on Moon, like on Moon Zombies, before the map Moon actually came out. I I'm not joking, boys. At least that's how I remember it in my brain. You guys know me, all right? I'm a trustworthy guy, all right? You know I wouldn't lie about something like that. So yeah, you know, that was real crazy stuff. But while I'm here, actually, I'm gonna start hitting the box because we're still in need, right? I'm getting EMPs and the ray gun. Okay, well, there's the ray gun. Bro, can I actually just like see the future or something? I swear down. Also, there's just like a really like useless thing about transit is that you can build like the traps. I don't think I've seen anyone actually like build the traps outside of like glitches. Because why would you, bro? Also, as I said, right, I can see the future. So you ready for this, boys? This is gonna be EMPs guaranteed. You ready? Boys, I, I like you. I <laughs> the actual fuck bro oh, <laughs> bro I, like you'd think that was edited bro you'd think that was edited <laughs> that's actually wild bro what can i say boys I'm, I'm just him but i think that's like everything we need to actually like do the easter egg so let me go ahead and see if i can get a cheeky little teleport to town so i don't have to run all the way there and we are okay we're pretty much at town so i'll just run up here and then i might need to double check what i need to do for this next step because i'm pretty sure all we've got to do is just take the jet gun to the pylon and just like shoot up with it but there might be a step before that i'm not 100 percent sure yeah so we need to go to the obelisk tower. I didn't know it was cool. And then it says go underneath it and fire straight up. If done correctly, you will hear Rick Toffin speak. So okay, we're pretty much at the tower. So I'm gonna head over here. Try and like actually speed run my way over here. That was good, bus. Okay, then so here we are. Pull out the jet gun. Okay, Rick Toffin's talking, but okay. Let me go ahead and just fire straight up. Essentially, we gotta do it until it breaks. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah. So he started speaking, and now he's talking about how we need to start killing zombies. So we need to wait for all of these zombies to make their way over to me. And we just need to get explosive kills. So hopefully this doesn't take super long, but I've mentioned it in like a previous video but like this whole like area of the map the zombies just take so long to get to you oh okay he was talking but i don't know what he was like speaking about it does say you need like a horde of zombies and then killing all at once so then again like this reddit post is like 11 years old so i'll, I'll listen to it okay like I'll, I'll play ball we'll gather up all of these zombies here and just take them out all at once with the ray gun okay so here we are we've got a pretty big horde here let me just go ahead and collapse them up uh did we do it or okay apparently it takes 25 now this is all according to greg fps okay so rick top did already speak so he like he might be done but i mean i might as well just get a few more extra kills we'll do this until like maybe the end of round five. Oh, there we go yeah yeah there we go okay he's talking about how there's like too much power now so what i'm gonna do now is make my way over to any of these green lights so there's one over here and what i've got to do is i've got to make a portal so where are these denizens are come on little boys there we go go ahead and open up that ball there and then all i've got to do is just stand in it throw an emp jump through the portal and then throw another emp and i think that should be it yep yep there we go boys so i believe the tower should turn blue but i want to go double check by the way that only took 26 minutes which i think is actually like quicker than i've done the max size sometimes so like genuinely kind of like impressing myself to be honest i'm, I'm you know not to toot my own horn but yeah you know i don't think we've done too bad i should have just teleported over there right this is taking so long so, i mean it's a little bit hard to see compared to like the maxis one but as you can see there's like a bunch of blue lights going over to it which means that we've completed the ricked off inside of the transit easter egg so i think i said it was like 26 minutes but we'll round it up to like 27 minutes so go ahead and add that to the timer jake so yeah i mean that's our first map done let's go ahead and move on to die rise all right then boys so on to our next easter egg we have die rise so the steps are actually quite similar to the max's side which i'm quite surprised about i thought it was a lot more different but i guess it's not the first thing i'm gonna do actually is i'm gonna fast restart until i get a uh, stoolinger because i want to be able to hear uh rick Toffin speak so there we go and the first step i need to do is i need to build me the trample steam so go ahead and grab all the parts i'll do some parts swapping down here so there's another part right here I'll go ahead and get this one and we just need to grab the engine part here so i wonder if we can make this it's like kind of risky though i ain't gonna lie but i'm, I'm actually a professional gamer boys what can i say wasn't even scared so yeah let's just go ahead and build us the trample steam real quick if i'm quick enough i might be able to catch that elevator on the way back oh bro i was actually upset all right well i mean never mind just means i'm gonna have to wait about seven years so the reason i'm heading right back up to the top is because i want to take the elevator and spawn all the way down to where the power switch is because that's actually the next step i'm hoping this easter egg won't take us super long it's a lot less glitchy right than the maxi side especially on solo because 
because the Max's solo side, it's got this issue where like sometimes the trample teams won't get placed down where you need them to be. On the Richtofen side, all you've got to do is just like launch zombies at the um the tower there, which can't really go wrong. So we might get this done relatively fast. We're just hoping for good luck with the elevators, to be honest. You know, while I'm here, I'm gonna buy Crook Revive. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the Richtofen side is actually easier than the Max side because you don't need like the ballistic knife or anything. So yeah, I don't think this Easter egg is gonna take very long at all. So let's head out of here, take this elevator back down. So there we go. And what I can also do is come over to the bank and take out a load of points, even though we don't actually that many this time. But yeah, let's go ahead and turn on the power and we'll also start getting all the parts of the slick wire since we do need that for a step later on in this Easter egg. So here's already two parts that we have. So there we go. And there we go as well. There's another part just up here. So we'll go ahead and grab this, add that on right there. Then is the final part over here? No. This is the bit that's a little bit worrying because I have no idea where this final part can spawn. Surely it's got to be like somewhere up here. But I actually have like no idea. <laughs> Another thing I can actually make a start on is these Mahjong tiles. So I'm going to pull up a little cheat sheet real quick. Okay, so that one, I think it's just saying that it's like blue one. It has been a hot minute since I did the Diaries Easter egg. So I'm just going to pull it blue one, which obviously once we find the like direction and we can finish up that. So we only need two of the um, symbols as well. Because what we can do if we have at least two of them is that we can just pretty much like 50-50 the last two like orders. So it really isn't that bad. But there we go. We've got ourselves a slick fire. Just need to wait for an elevator now. But this one here might be... Oh, bro. That's I actually just got trolled. Okay, there we go. We have an elevator here. Actually, you know what? I'm staying because I need to get that elevator there. And you'll see why in like two seconds. Oh, there's another uh, Madron tile here. So that is east. So red is east. All right, here we go. All right, this elevator is here. So what we need to do is we need to step on this symbol here. And that's actually just like the next step. What you're meant to do in like a co-op game is that each player needs to stand on one of these symbols around the map. So like there's obviously four symbols. Uh, but because of the solo mod I'm using, we only have to step on one because, you know, otherwise it would literally be impossible. So yeah, that's technically the next step done. Now we could get very lucky again. Also, that's telling me that black is north. So I'm just going to go ahead and note that down. But yeah, in regards to getting lucky, we need to find another four sets of like symbols on the floor. And basically you have to do the symbols in like a certain order, if that makes sense. So like you've basically just got to like trial and error, like the four symbols on the floor until you find the right one. So like obviously that one wasn't the first symbol. So we're going to go ahead and try the other three symbols. But what's nice about this solo mod again, is that you only have to find the first symbol, right? And then that'll like complete the entire step. So you don't actually have to trial and error. You just need to go ahead around the map and find the first one. So we could have gotten really lucky there and that had been the first one, but it wasn't. So a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. There's another symbol at the top of this building. So I'll go ahead and try that one. I'm not gonna lie, a majority of this run so far has just been me like taking the elevators. It's wild, bro. Okay, so there's another symbol here. Okay, perfect. All right, and it's actually good that that was the one that was first because what we can also go ahead and do is we can start on the next step, which is to buy the SVU off the wall here. Oh, actually there's another uh, Mahjong tile there. That's telling me that green is two. So I didn't note that down. What we've got to do is we've got to shoot these balls out of the dragon's mouth. You know, don't take that in a weird way. I say don't take it in a weird way, but like Rick Toppin is already making this weird. Like, bro is actually just moaning, bro. But we got to do now is we got to come over to these like balls here that we just shot out the mouse and, and make them real slippery. Okay, it's not helping yourself, game. This Easter egg is just so gay, bro. I can't even lie. Like, not even in like a mean way. Like, it, it actually is just like really gay. Okay, well, there we go. We've got a ball spinning. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to this one right here. And they both take 20 shots each. So just keep shooting this one until it starts spinning. There we go. That's as you can see, they're both spinning now. Both the balls are spinning. You know what? We're actually like really close to the end of the Easter egg. This part of the video is going to be so short. Oh my God. I did not realize because all we've really got left to do now is just get the kills with the trample seed and then enter in the Mahjong order. And then that's literally it. So I'm going to have to try and fill this video up with something, boys. I guess I can go ahead and get the last few Mahjong tiles. So there could be one right here, which there is. And that is a uh, red four. So we actually have our first complete set of Mahjong tiles, which is red. It's fourth in the order and it's east on the tower. So got that one. There's actually another one right here. What is that? Is that blue? Yeah. We actually have two complete symbols. Oh my god, I forgot to buy Galvan, of course, didn't I? Oh my god. Okay, so it means I'm gonna have to go back over there at some point. So a little bit of a time loss, but you know what? It is what it is. Right, you know what? I've got a big brain tactic. I'm gonna make my way over here. I'm gonna destroy my trample steam. There we go. And I'm gonna grab this part on the floor here, which is a little key. And if I just come over here and interact with this elevator uh, keypad thingy here, and now I need to make an actual sprint over to this elevator. There we go. And that should take me all the way back up to the top. So there we go. Why did I feel the need to do that? You might be asking. Well, I just couldn't be asked to wait. Plus, I can go ahead and grab myself a new trump steam anyways and hey, make my way back down here so I can actually grab the galvanicals because, you know, I am going to need them. It just saves me having to come all the way back down here when, like, the last two steps literally take place on the rooftop. I'm making this a lot more complicated than it needs to be. I I'm actually relatively surprised on how easy the rick and side is, judging the fact that in our every Easter egg and 24 hour video, it took us like two hours something to complete that Easter egg. I, I don't know how. It was just genuinely like an absolute shit show. But, I mean, yeah, we got, we got it done eventually, okay? So, you know, it just shows my, like, character development and my zombie skill, you know? It took me two hours, full player, to beat this Easter egg. But now I've evolved.
bold, right? And it's taken me 18 minutes to get up to this step. So I'm saying that as if we're like done. We're just not. We're nearly done. My guess is we've probably got like another 10 minutes left of this Easter egg. So let me just hop up here real quick. And basically what I need to do is I need to place trample steam down here. And we just have to have zombies like launch themselves towards the tower. So as soon as these zombies decide, you know, actually make an appearance, like where are they? Oh, you know, what? I'm not even waiting for you. Yeah, once we've done that, we literally just need to enter in the Mahjong tiles, which again, I have two of them already like noted down. So we can just 50 50 the last one. And yeah, that's like literally it. So I'm just going to sit here, let them just launch themselves, you know. Hey, Rick Tovin's talking. He's like, more blood. I think we're nearly done with this. So I was just writing down the possible like order it could be because we've got two here. So, so it's either going to be west, south, north, east, or it's going to be west, north, south, east. Right, it's even going to be one of those two. So come on, zombies. Where are you guys at? All right, come on, little boy. Nope. And that wasn't even the last guy. It hey, surely there can't be too many more zombies. Oh my god. Okay. I did not mean to launch myself with the trample steam. I was a little bit spooky, but surely, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we're done actually. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it might be north, south, north, east. I think I just like messed up me saying that, but okay, I think we did it, boys. I think I got it first try. I think. I mean, if I oh yeah, look, we got all the perks, bro. What am I even on about? Oh boys, there we go. I mean, like, that was just super easy, you know? Like, I can't even lie. Like, it took us 23 minutes. So uh, go ahead and add that to the timer, first of all. So, I mean, you know, that's kind of hype, but we got that done a lot faster than I thought it was gonna take us. So I'm like genuinely surprised. But yeah, you know, I'll take it, okay? So other than that, that is our second. Second Richtofen Easter egg complete. So let's just go ahead and move on to our very final Richtofen Easter egg for this video, which is Buried. All right, then, boys. So on to our final map for this video, we have Buried. Now, I'll be honest, it's been a hot minute since I did the Richtofen Buried Easter egg. Again, I'm pretty sure the last time I did it, actually, this goes to like every map in this video so far. The last time I did the Easter egg was all the way back when I did the every Easter egg in 24 hour video. It has been a hot minute, boys. But I'm actually pretty sure it's easier than the Max's side. So I'm not super worried. I just remember that this Easter egg is like super annoying because of the lever step in the maze or lever step. I, I don't really care how you say it, but yeah, I mean, I'm not 100% sure how it works with a solo Easter egg mod as well. So hopefully it's not like too complicated, but I mean, we'll see. So the first thing we need to do is build the guillotine. So I have no idea where these parts are, so I'm going to have to look them up. It says here, the satellite dish is found on top of the saloon. In the satellite is on the first floor of the barn. Pink crystal found in the upper tunnels across the park. But what, what does that even mean? And spool of wire slash wool found in the gunsmith behind the little iron oven. Okay, I have have no idea what like any of those are but i'll figure it out boys so apparently there's one in here i don't know if this is it i thought that was for the max's side but maybe some of them like correlate to prevent you from building both that would make sense yeah that that would make a lot of sense so go ahead and add that on there that probably means that the wool slash wire thing is just down here so i can quickly go grab that as well yeah there it is probably should have switched the uh stoolager but i mean it isn't the end of the world i guess it just could means i'm gonna have to, like guess when i've actually like completed the steps so you know what it's fine boys i'm not even worried about it so i'm pretty sure the the crystal is actually just up here somewhere. Yeah, it's right there. So let's go ahead and add that crystal on right there. And then all we gotta do now is get the satellite dish, which is found on the top of the saloon. So it's somewhere up here. But like, but like where? But oh, this there. Of course, I'm sitting there being like, where is it? And I'll find it immediately, you know, like you do. But there you go. That is technically the first step complete. The next step is that we've got to charge the red orbs using the paralyzer wonder weapon. So this is why I pulled out a load of points from the mystery box. Again, we do have our like extra look on the box plum perk. So hopefully we do get it quite soon. That is monkey bombs, not quite a wild one. I also need to make sure. I'm getting a time bomb. So hopefully we get that. Also, again, gives me the SMR. Like, bro, extra look, by the way. Oh, actually, before I start spinning the box, I should really be locking it down with Leroy. That was a like, close cool there, Jake. Nearly went full silly billy mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and get him out of here. Okay, I just realized this. When we have to go back in time for one of the steps, like, bro, that is going to be some squeaky bum time on solo. I'm going to have to get set up for that because that could just kill my run, like, immediately. That is a little bit scary. All right, but we'll face that challenge when we actually get there. Might just need to, like, get set up. But that's like, not a problem, boys. Give candy to Leroy. He's going to slam down the box. Ready, watch. And and as soon as he slams it, it's guaranteed paralyzer every single time. Ready, watch this. Okay, we got the Reagan. I, I did the wrong glitch, boys. My bad. The extra box look, though. Like, we're not getting that lucky. Oh, well, I mean, I, I spoke too soon. All right, we're not done hitting it yet. I want to try and get the uh, time bombs out of the mystery box. And speaking of time bombs, watch. This is going to be the time bomb hit. You ready? There it is. Okay, it's not. I thought we could pull some cheeky stuff with the EMP again, but it didn't quite work. I right, actually am getting low on points, and I haven't had the time bomb yet, which is a little bit unfortunate. This is like the fifth time it's given me ballistic knives, though. So, you know, thank you, game. This is meant to be better box look. And so far, I've had the S12 ballistic knife. I get the S12 again, and then the RPG. So, like, what is that about, game? Where is this better box look? It doesn't actually exist, I swear. Before anyone corrects me in the comments, I'm pretty sure, if I had to take a guess, it's only, like, the first couple spins of the box that are lucky. So, in case anyone starts trying to correct me, you know, I, I believe I know. I think. I don't know. Maybe correct me anyways. All right, so basically, what we've got to do with this paralyzer now is we need to go to the orbs around the map, and we have to, like, shoot them with the paralyzer to make them glow, like, white. A little bit racist, but, you know, whatever. And while I'm here, actually, I'll go ahead and turn on the power. So, there we go. I always forget to turn on the power in Buried, because, like, just who remembers to turn on the power. It just seems to like boring in this
this map, but maybe that's just me. I do love this map, all right? It's one of my favorites. It's such like a good looking map. I'm a big fan of the aesthetics, boys. But yeah, here's our third orb anyways. There we go. And our very final orb is on the other side of the witch's house. So I probably shouldn't have withdrawn this many points before going in here. I'm definitely about to lose them all. Unless I play it out very skillfully. Oh, fuck. All right, there we go. I only got hit once. That's not too bad. Yeah, here is our final orb right here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that up real quick. This step is so much easier than the one on the Maxis side. Because on the Maxis side, you've got to break it with the um, subsurface resonator. Like, bro, it's on solo. That is just annoying. But I've got double tap. Not too bad. So let's just quickly hop back down here. Look at the Reagan again. Reagan again before the time bomb, by the way. That guy is crazy. Yeah, now that we've done all the lanterns, basically this like glowing lantern will appear in the sky. So we have to throw a grenade at it to like blow it down. Of course, I'll miss. So there we go. That should get it. Nice. So now what it says we have to do is we need to go into the mansion and kill witches to charge the lantern. So this is obviously different from the um, Max's side where we've got to use Leroy to charge the lantern. But to be honest, this one is easier because you can do this on round one. So it's like, I actually prefer the Richtofen inside over the Max's side, to be honest with you. The only step I'm not a fan of is the lever step. I think it's a little bit better on solo, like with this mod. So I'm not tweaking about it too hard. Okay, so I think we've done it because the um, lantern isn't like charming anymore. Okay, so let me just get out of this whole like area. Okay, and if we just build the lantern right here, now we have to decode this little like, sort of like pattern thingy. All right, here we go. Okay, so first up, I believe we have ground bitter pits and we have consumption cross. And then finally, boys, we have bone orchard vein. Now you might be wondering, how do I know that? You see, boys, a little known secret about me is I'm fluent in bullshit, okay? Like I can speak it on the whim. You know, if someone starts saying something to me, all right, I can speak fluently in it. But yeah, now that we have that, this guy that I'm like double checking everything with, is telling me to not hit the signs yet. I need to get the time bomb. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. And we also need to make sure that we get vultures aid. So I'm going to do that. As soon as I get these fucking time bombs, we're like, come on, give me it. That's the ballistic knife game. That's not what I want. That, that is criminal. Bro, the ray gun again. How have I gotten the ray gun like four times? Not had the time bombs yet. This is bizarre. But the ballistic knife again, by the way. How many times? How many times game? Explain. Bro, don't, you can't make it up, bro. I am I am left speechless after that. I am in awe. Right, you know what? I'm spamming my F key. I'm absolutely going in, boys. If I don't get it here, I'm going to be in shock. Ballistic knife again, of course. How many times are I going to switch between the ballistic knife and the ray gun, boys? Take a guess. Oh my god, finally, bro. It actually took forever. All right, let me go ahead and pick up this PDW. Go ahead and pick up the booze right here. And I'm going to take Leroy all the way over to like this church area. So come on, Leroy. Speed up, bro. And I'm going to have him break that little barricade there so I can go ahead and grab me some vultures aid. So let's go ahead and pick this up. Now, what we need to do is we need to throw the time bomb onto the guillotine. And now we need to go hit the sign. So I just go ahead and make my way up here. We need to hit the correct sign. So we have consumption cross. Yeah, we need that one. We need to grab this one here. And this is our final one here. So if I go ahead and melee that, basically what we've got to do now is we've got to chase around this orb. And what makes Vulture's Aid really important to have for this step is that this thing will teleport all around the map, right? And with Vulture's Aid, you can see it through walls. So it makes this step a lot easier. And I actually think it's the only way to beat this step unless you knew like all of the location for some reason, which if you did, like that is genuinely kind of sad. I'm not going to lie, boys. It would be mildly upset and if you knew what all the locations were. Unless you're like a speedrunner, then that makes sense. But what happened? How did this go so wrong? So was that like meant to happen or... I mean, I guess we can try it again. I think it's just a little bit more difficult because on solo, obviously you need to get all of the orbs. Or on Corp, you can like position your teammates around the map to kind of get it. So I think I just to be quicker. I gotta go fast. I might also need to grab stamina, which might be a bit of an issue. So we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and start this little bad boy again. So obviously it goes down here. It made its way over here. There we go. It went all the way back over here. Ooh, there we go. Then it was up here for some reason. And now it's for some reason over here. There we go. Wait, now it's at the guillotine. So that took a completely different path, which is super weird and random, but you know, it's all right, I guess. So essentially what I've got to do now is it says we've got to charge the crystal. So once the orb has reached its final spot of the guillotine, you need to kill zombies near the guillotine. If you have vultures aid, you'll be able to notice that some zombies that come near the guillotine have glowing hands. Kill those zombies to gain souls for the crystal, and you'll need about five souls to fully charge it. If you're on a low round, like I recommended, this will be easy. I don't remember I'm recommending that. We did it on the low round anyways, about the lowest round you could possibly do it on. So yeah, once we've done that, we need to go back in time. But honestly, before that, I want to get Jug because if you guys don't know, the infinity round is really difficult because zombies, like, they can't die. Like, bro, it's round infinity. So just to make sure I, like, 100% can't just get two shot and absolutely clap, I'm going to quickly get Leroy to go ahead and charge the Juggernaut machine. How do you miss, bro? How do you miss Leroy? That is the first time I think Leroy has ever missed that for me. Also, I know for a fact that my recording just picked that up, right? I of me getting hit twice, all right? Before any smarty pants think that I'm cheating, I've got Perma Juggernaut, okay? Do I remember getting it? No, but I have it, so. All right, there we go, Leroy. Go ahead and pick up Jug. So I actually think this next step is really cool, but I also don't really like it. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and start getting some kills. And yeah, I mean, we're actually like not too far off the end of this Easter egg. We have got a few annoying steps coming up, so hopefully like we don't just get collapsed during that. But yeah, come on, all right. So there's another kill. 
kill. Then we need to get one more kill, I think. So there we go. So what I'm pretty sure we got to do now is we just got to like stand right next to the guillotine and then go back in time. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. There we go, boys. And as you can see, we're on round infinity. So this is where the annoying step comes in. Because what you've got to do, if you've got to run around the whole map searching like dead bodies. So here's one of them. And we've got to hope that we find a lever or like a switch, okay? You'll know if I found it because it will say it at the top of the screen. But yeah, honestly, finding this switch is just such a pain in the ass. So I guess I'll go check the courthouse just in case there's one in here. Is there any dead bodies? I don't see any. Where are they at? That is, that is ridiculous, bro. I can't even believe what I just watched. All right, so what we've got to do now is we've got to get ourselves a new time bomb. So we do need a max ammo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Leroy over here just turn this little amount of points, hopefully into a max ammo. So he's going to do some little voodoo wisdom stuff. And hopefully we get a max ammo from this. We didn't. We got a carpenter. Okay, not very good. I guess we'll just start a new round because, you know, I guess we have to. So let's get killing, boys. Of course, we get double points. Unless Leroy can like very quickly get over here and change this into a max ammo for us. Oh my god, we even got a nuke, bro. Leroy, where you at? Where's my mate by that? Oh my god, I can hear him. What are you doing up there, bro? Hurry up, get down here. Right, come over here, Leroy. Leroy, bro, where are you going? Leroy, over here, bro. All right, quickly, turn that into a, into a max ammo for us, Leroy. Quick, before it disappears. There we go. He's on it. And bam, boys, there it is. Okay, let's not mess this up this time. So go ahead and throw that on there. I believe we just go back in time like that. There we go. All right, now where uh, the dead bodies are? The thing is, right, is I just don't know the locations of where they are. Otherwise, it'd be calm, but I literally just have no idea, boys. Oh, here we go. Here's Marlton. Search the body. Nothing was found. Let's go. Paralyze up does make this a little bit easier because you can slow down the zombies and also jump over them. So that does help a little bit. Come on, where are the bodies at? Bro, I, like, you just don't get enough time, bro. Oh, this step sucks, bro. This step sucks. All right, Leroy, let's try this again. Maybe 1,000 points just isn't enough. All right, let me put in like 5,000. All right, go on. Turn that into a max ammo for us. Come on, you got it, Leroy. Conjure it up. You got it, King. And that's an instacle, Leroy. All right, to be fair, if I'm quick enough, I could get another piece of candy and have him try it again. So there we go. Let's go ahead and buy another piece. Oh my God, Leroy, are you actually serious right now? Leroy, Leroy, I hate you, bro. You were my homie, but now you're just being a bit of a troll. Leroy, stop trolling me, bro. It's not a funny joke, Leroy. I'm not laughing. All right, let's try this again, Leroy. This time it's going to be different, okay? Come on, turn it into a max ammo. Give me what I need. Give me what I want, game. And we got another carpenter. That's sick. I'm actually so lucky, you know? I mean, I guess I can just keep trying it. I'm going to be using up a lot of points in my bank, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I mean, it is what it is as long as I get a max ammo and that's some points. Oh, okay, there's a max ammo. All right, you know what? Before I do this one, I'm going to look up all body locations. Okay, so this video is from eight years ago. That's a good start. So, so basically, if I just run left, we should have a pretty, like, good chance of finding a body. So, is there one over here? But yep, here's one of them. Go ahead and search that. Nothing was found. Of course, nothing was fucking found. Never is. Okay, I suppose let's just hop back over here. Oh, there's a rust man there. Quickly search the body, search the body. Okay, nothing was found. Okay, of course, nothing. I'm dead. Okay, not great. Okay, I suppose let's just focus on not dying. Oh, another day, another day of not fucking finding the switch, bro. How many times am I gonna have to try this? Oh, at least we got all of our perks back. That's not too bad. My guess is probably Misty has it. But bro, where is Misty hiding? I, I don't actually know if that's true or not. Like, if it's just like one type of body that has it, instead of it just being like completely random, I actually have no idea. But yeah, I mean, I guess we'll find out. Or give me a nuke and an insta kill. That's upsetting. Go ahead and grab another piece of candy. Oh, uh, that's not gonna have enough time. Okay, let's put down another piece of uh, money. Let's try this again. Come on, all right, at some point, this has got to give me a max ammo. And bam, boys, that's an insta kill. Truly, I I'm lost for words, boys. Okay, this is not looking good for me. And of course, he gives me a nuke. You know, honestly, am I even surprised at this point? I'm out here risking my life. But Leroy as well, by the way, I swear I just seen him cower away like a little bitch. And I'm out here, right, kind of like fight for my life right now. That is crazy. I suppose I just sit here and just hope that we get a max ammo from a zombie. I could free Leroy, but so far he's giving me every drop. Well, there's a max ammo. Leroy, he, he's out, he's out the window, bro. He's a, he's a whole different story. Like he can he can do his own thing. All right, he's a big boy. He can sit in the cage. All right, so throw that down. Hopefully, this is gonna be the last time I have to try and do this. So let me have a look around the map. But really not even a single body. That is wild. Oh, okay, there's Rustman again. So I'll go ahead and search his body. Nothing was found. I think there's another body in here. Who's this? No, that's not a body. That's a rocks. Let's go. Common misconception. Oh, easily mistaken, to be honest. Oh my god, we are literally gonna die. Oh, this this run is gone again. There I go. This is ridiculous, bro. Oh my god, I don't know what to do, boys. Okay, so there could be a spot just behind there. And you know what? I believe it's gonna be there. See, what would be really nice for this step is if I could use monkey bombs. But I can't because for some reason, monkey bombs bombs replace the time bomb. Also, I have no idea why those lights aren't on. A little bit concerning, but maybe it's because I'm midway through the Easter egg. I don't know. Either way, let's go ahead and unlock Leroy because I'm going to have to use him. Okay, like he, he's going to have to be like my only hope.
hope of getting this done. Bro, Leroy, stop stinking and fucking poo, bro. Come on. Leroy, stop sniffing, bro. Me and Leroy, right, we used to go way back. Now he's been a little bitch today, and I don't know why, and it's really annoying me. Right, either way, got the candy. Let's go ahead and have Leroy make his way up to me. Hopefully, he just gives me a max ammo, because I really want to be, like, retrying it again this round. I want to get it done, bro. The goal was under two hours, but at this rate, I, I don't even know, boys. I spent 47 minutes alone on Buried. Bro, are you fucking serious, Leroy? Actually make me grumpy, bro. It's Carpenter after Carpenter, bro. It's actually unreal. But surely, right, he can't turn a Carpenter into a Carpenter. So if he just comes back down here, come on, Leroy, make... Hurry up, bro. All right, if I have him do that, hopefully that will become a max ammo. Please, Leroy, I'm actually begging. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now he's trolling me with a zombie. You are actually so funny, Leroy. It is unreal. Another Carpenter. You literally can't make it up. Eventually, it will give it to me. And there's a double point. Now, I'm just going to go a few, a few rounds. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm fed up. Do you remember when I said that I think I like the Richtofen side over the Max's side? I changed my mind. I actually changed my mind. This step, although it's cool, is fucking annoying, bro. All right, let's just quickly go back in time. So there we go. And now this time I'm gonna find the body. All right, guarantee. Uh, I, I, oh, here it is. Come on, give me the body. Give me the key. Give me the key. Nothing was found. Oh my fucking god. Nobody's in the barn. Okay, there's another. Oh, this is Misty, bro. This this has to be it, bro. Come on. Nothing was found. You are actually joking. I got trolled. I actually just got trolled. Okay, I don't see any bodies here, which is meaning only one thing, boys. Who is ready to head back and have to look for another max ammo? Woohoo! I'm giddy. Getting me real excited now. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough time because Leroy took his time, bro. There it goes. Okay, we got an instacle here without any glow for some reason, which is like really off putting. I'm not even gonna lie. What I need to do is I need to give Leroy the candy. There we go. Now, hopefully, he'll turn that into a max ammo. But come on, Leroy, do your thing. Oh, that's a new thank you game. Uh, maybe he can quickly turn that into a max ammo. Yep, let's see what he gives me. Come on, give me what I need. That is an instacle again. I, I am slowly losing it, bro, with this Easter egg. Oh my god, thank you, Leroy. About time honestly bro all right let's just go back in time again Stoolinger, do you have it nothing was found the dead body right here is this gonna be it nothing was found again let's go oh it is rust man bro we found it oh my fucking god bro finally holy shit <laughs> You don't understand, bro. You do not understand how grumpy I was getting. There was actual steam coming out of my ears. Also, I swear to God, if I swear down, all right, if I had to add the switch before I left, I'm not going to be happy. Oh my God, thank God. Just add the part on quick, quick. Oh my God, thank Lord. That was annoying. But that step is over and done with now. I can breathe. I can be happy. You know, I can think about all the positive things in my life, like my dog. And because I said my dog, I'm legally obliged to say my girlfriend and my family and my barber. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I think we can do the rest of the Easter egg on this round, is I'm going to quickly grab me the candy so there we go and i need leroy to come over to this little crawler here and i need him to pick him up so hopefully yep there we go now that should let me just focus on with the rest of the easter egg so basically we've added the switch to the guillotine i don't know where it is now what we've got to do is we need to go into the maze and we need to pull levers in the maze are colored and we need to hit those colors in the right order or something like that and i'm not sure how it works on solo because obviously the solo version is slightly different all it says is that after pulling all four levers for the maze step the game will notify you which ones were correct so i don't know if that means like some it's gonna pop up on my screen or or, or what I, I don't know yeah hopefully that lets me get like the color combination white early so let's just go ahead and start pulling the levers so got one here which is blue we, we can just pull these in random orders by the way so as soon as we see them we'll pull them we have our green one here also i should probably note down what order i'm doing these in so we've got yellow here and obviously red will be our last one so but will you fuck off witch or give me mule kick seriously what what an actual kick in the dick that is that's like a final fuck you bro that's honestly what that is okay, and here's the red one so okay well the order's just been told to me so it's blue yellow green Green, red because you'll see that on the left it says spark for blue spark for red no spark for green and yellow so we'll obviously just switch them around and then that'll be all of them okay, that makes this step a lot easier so the way this works on co-op right is that basically there'll be an actual like spark on the switch to say like yeah you got this one right and you'd have each player like look at their switch when the last one's pulled and be like oh did your spark no did mine spark no or like did your spark yes like and you kind of like figure out the order from that way it's just it's just entirely trial and error it's a super annoying step i remember when we did it in our 24 hour easter egg video and it took just forever to do because what you got to do is every time you pull all four levers you've got to come out of the witch's house and then go back into the witch's house to reset it so so yeah it is like very time consuming but this makes it a lot easier okay so let's go ahead and find all these levers so we need to pull green first okay so let's just go ahead and find all these levers we need to pull blue first so let's go ahead and find that okay there's green is blue so we need to go find yellow now so where would that be oh there's red i've found every switch except the one that i actually need but only me bro it's only i can do that just to find out where the other door is but like i see it like it's genuinely like it hasn't spawned in but like surely it can't do that oh my god i nearly died there is it like what i'm actually baffled bro i might have to leave the witch's house and come back in because by the looks of it it just didn't even spawn in enough doors you know what i'm not even playing this game boys i'm just gonna 
quickly reset the witch's maze. There is a cheeky little pass through here, which, you know, saves a little bit of time. I swear, everything about this run has just gone, like, so wrong. Okay, blue is still pulled. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, that's green. Okay, there's yellow. My guess is red's there. Okay, perfect. So, green's there. And then if I just pull red, is that right? There we go. Perfect. You can see they all spark. So, we're now on to the very final step. So, I just need to make my way back over to the main area. Now, I'm not too sure if this has been updated or not, because, because usually it, like, auto-completes it, like the sharpshooter step. But then I think they updated it, so, like, it's optional, so you can do it. I'm honestly not too sure, but we're about to find out. So, what I need to do, first of all, is make this guy into a crawler. So, let me see if I can do that real quick. Nope, we blew off his arm, so that means he will not become a crawler. Perfect, boys. So, I suppose we can just try this, like, out making a crawler. It's not, like, the end of the world or anything like that. So, if we just press make a wish, all we gotta do is just shoot all of the symbols, or at least try to. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But we've already missed one, which is, like, perfect. Again, it might just auto-complete it. If it does, then it's a little bit cheap. You know, boys, this run has already messed me up oh, so much. I think I deserve a break. Okay, what happens? Does it fail or does it complete? No. Okay, so it fails. So we are gonna need to actually do the sharpshoot step. So I guess we'll go one more round, make a crawler, and then be done with this easter egg. Okay, so I have me a crawler. I'm gonna quickly make a wish because I just realized how little time we actually have left to do this. So we pretty much need to hit every single target here as to get this in under two hours. So come on. Okay, how many more targets we got here? Okay, shoot these three. One up there. Sneaky little bastard. Get that one there. That one there. Oh, we did it, boys. Oh my god, let's go. And we can press this button here, which will start up the rick top and ending. And boys, I shit you not, we just about did that in two hours. That is actually mad. It took us an hour and nine. So I think we had one minute to spare. That is actually kind of mad. But yeah, I mean, there you go. Go ahead and listen to the ending cutscene here. I'm pretty sure, right, that the rick top and sight actually gives you like a really good reward. I'm pretty sure you get like a permanent fire sale in your games or game. I don't really know if it's games. I'm pretty sure the mule kit gives you four weapons instead of three. Should we find out, boys? Let's have a look. So we got the M1216. Don't really care about that. And if we get another weapon, the Remington new model. How many weapons do we have? Nope, we only have three. Okay, I might be trying shit, boys. But I ain't gonna lie, Max is such a sore little loser. Uh, Rick Toppin, he kind of takes it like a bit of a champ, right? But Max is like, he's like, like crying and stuff. Like, bro, why are you getting upset? Oh, I forgot that in this ending, that um, Stoolin' Jay, he gets like blue eyes, like a zombie. It's kind of the same. But this is also what I meant, by the way, by you get like a permanent fire sale. And look, we also have four weapons, so I was right. We got the Remington new model, the hammer, the paralyzer, and we got the PDW. So yeah, as I said, like the rewards for the Rick Toppin side is actually kind of insane. Like, it's way better than the um, Max side. I don't think you get any rewards in the Max side. You actually get scammed for doing the Max side. I can't even lie. But yeah, I mean, that is the end of the video, boys. We've actually managed to beat the Rick Top and Super Easter egg in under two hours, which I know it was like just about two hours. But like, boys, right, I am happy with that, okay? Just the fact that I've not done this in, you know, I can actually go have a look and how long it's been. I've not done these Easter eggs in seven months. So you know what? I'm relatively happy, okay? But yeah, I mean, if you guys did enjoy the video, no, leave a like and let me know what other like type of Easter egg challenges you guys like want me to do. Whether it being like the hardest Easter eggs in every zombies game or like the best or the worst zombies easter eggs i, I don't know bro let, let me know but yeah i mean that's gonna be it for this video hit a cheeky little subscribe on the channel and uh yeah other than that i'll see you guys in the next video